Yep, absolutely. Uh, another great question. My husband had an online emotional affair that may have gotten physical once during a trip that he took without me. Can we save our marriage if he refuses to admit uh, the affair, even though I have 100% proof? Mm. Well, that, yeah. So this is what we call deniability, right? So it, it seems like people only admit things when you put the proof right in front of their eyes. So the question is, are you holding on to the truth, waiting for them to admit it? Um, have you revealed the truth and they continue to deny it? Um, is there hope that you can save your marriage? I would say yes. You know, the season that you're in, the state that you're in, it doesn't seem hopeful at all. It may seem helpless and may, you may feel like throwing in the towel, calling the quits and just giving up. Generally speaking, 95% of the time, most people do lie. They do minimize. They do avoid admitting truth. They're evading. They're doing all types of things to give false impressions because cheating is a lie. Cheating is a lie. And so one, it's, it, it's, it's, sec it's secrecy. And so for somebody to switch, switch, flip a switch, excuse me, and complete and be completely honest, a lot of times is very difficult. And so what they do is they engage in the trickled truth. And so in their minds, they're given pieces of truth, but then holding other pieces of truth back and they're justifying and rationalizing why they're doing it. And so I would say that there's a season in that discovery phase for all of the truth to come out. I don't know how long you've been dealing with this. I don't know how long you've been talking about this, but you know, if you haven't revealed that information, I would push the envelope and I would show the partner the truth of what you do know and then make them admit and see if they'll continue to deny. And then at that point, I would say, come and get some help to figure out what your next steps would be. A lot of people have a knee jerk reaction to end a marriage because things aren't going well in that discovery phase. But I'm telling you, Things shift in both individuals. And then once you move from the discovery phase to the full disclosure phase, then all of the <laughs> truth me. begins to come out. And then the other thing is this. Some people lie for different reasons, right? They lie because they, uh, they don't want to cause further hurt and pain. They lie because they're trying to avoid the consequences of a marriage being over. They lie because they're trapped in between guilt and shame. And others lie because they're just compulsive liars and lie about everything. Is he a compulsive liar, someone who lies about everything? See, determining what the re reason or the motive may be may help in determining if you can move forward. 